folks. How's it going? Today we're going to do something pretty cool. I think you'll get a kick out of it at least. <laughs> you'll learn something for sure. We are going to make our own vitamin C supplement <laughs> out of this huge hoarded bowl of orange peels. That's right. We're going to be here for hours grinding this all down. No, <laughs> no, but you do want to start saving your orange peels. Mine are organic. I mean, you can use conventional if you want. Be aware there will be pesticides on them, but I've just been naturally drying. Like you, you air dry these. Don't use heat because you'll destroy the vitamin C content in there. But once you have a bunch of orange peels saved up, which Oranges are expensive, so this is a way to get even more nutrition out of the currently vastly overpriced food that we're all facing, right? Um, okay, so you've got your orange peels. They're dried out. We're not going to do this whole bowl. Let's work with 100 grams. Did you know that to every 100 grams, grams words, <laughs> of orange peels, you get 110 milligrams of vitamin C. That's a lot. There's more vitamin C content in the orange peels than the oranges themselves. There's also more flavonoids and more phenols and more copper and more various B vitamins. There's more vitamin A, there's more vitamin, a little bit of vitamin D, although I'd argue that. Vitamin E for sure, because there's nice oily compounds in here, right? And that is just amazing. And I see that there's a sticker on one of them still. I always try to take them off before I throw it, you know, or peel it, but sometimes you forget. But anyhow, so this is an amazing way that we can reclaim some nutrition and save a little bit of money and know that we are getting bioavailable vitamin C. Okay, so you're going to need your dried orange peels. Coffee grinder. You could probably try a food processor, something like that, something that has the capacity to grind it down into small amounts. But I really like using a coffee grinder. It just, I feel like it works better. It's meant to be a really confined space. I try to avoid getting like the tiny little stem pieces in there, you know, that came off on the peel because they don't really grind down very well. Um, but beyond the vitamin C content, it's important to know, like, you need vitamin C alongside of copper, which is why if you take, like, a lot of ascorbic acid, it's not that ascorbic acid is inherently bad, it's that your body has to rob copper from other places of your body to be able to process the vitamin C, right? Because vitamin C, I want you to think of it like an egg. You have an egg. The outer white of the egg in the shell is your vitamin C. The inner yellow core is copper because in nature, vitamin C always comes with copper, uh, like on like a molecular level, right? So when you take synthetic man-made vitamin C, what happens is it's, it's hollow. It's like you have an egg with no yolk in it. And so your body has to steal copper from other parts of your body, right? And vitamin um, C is also really important for things like helping you convert retinol or convert beta carotene into retinol, which is vitamin A for fancy talk. Um, vitamin A is important for gum health, skin health, mental health, immune health. There's not a single part in your body that does not require large amounts of vitamin C to function. And here's the thing. Vitamin C is water soluble. So you can take vitamin C in the morning or eat an orange in the morning. And within two hours, your body has already absorbed everything it's going to from that and you piss out the excess, right? And even if you needed more, it still pees it out. And so it's not something that builds up in you. It, I mean, it doesn't really. You can become like having scurvy like a pirate <laughs> within like the better part of like, I think it's like a week to two weeks, you can start showing um, subclinical signs of scurvy, right? Which is like bleeding gums, exhaustion, thyroid issues. Eventually wounds start opening up, things heal slowly, bone pain, all kinds of stuff, right? So we need far more vitamin C than we realize, especially, I swear to God, I know how to use it. There we go. <laughs> especially because things like mold exposure, stress, chemical exposure, subpar soil quality, all that kind of stuff, gut health issues, genetic issues, can all reduce the vitamin C levels in your body and greatly increase how much vitamin C you need. All right, let's, let's turn this into a powder together. Thank <laughs> you. 
so strong. You want your house to smell like oranges? Grind up some orange peels, I'm telling you. Woo! See, now we've still got a way to go. Right, now you can keep grinding this. You can keep turning it into a really fine powder, but I know nobody wants to sit here for like an hour and hear me do that. It doesn't actually take that long. <laughs> so what I'm going to do instead is take a strainer. Whoa, whoa. You know, just a mesh sieve. Do a little bit of a dance right now what you can do is then put this back in there blend it up again you know and that makes it a little easier because sometimes I feel like the powder itself can get it in the way of grinding if that makes sense right so oh that smells so strong look at that beautiful color look at that let me see how close I can get isn't that beautiful now you've got some options. You can add this to your cooking, but do know it will deplete a lot of the vitamin C properties. It will still have all the copper and things intact. You can add this to your smoothies. There is the white pith on this, right? You know, the stuff that you peel off your oranges because it's kind of bitter. Um, so it can make things taste a little bitter, but if you were making like a strong flavored smoothie, like raspberry or something like that you probably wouldn't taste it added or it would just taste pleasantly like orange you can also turn it into capsules which is what i'm gonna do all right so i can't link this capsule machine in my like little amazon affiliate thing because Amazon doesn't let you buy capsule machines, but this is available in most health food stores. You can also get it from this capsuleconnection.com. Go ahead and screenshot it. Right, they don't they don't like pay me money to say any of this. <laughs> I just like it. I have actually I have um, a commercial capsule machine in my apothecary, but it's way too big and clunky to pull out for this and when I need to make little amounts. So I like this little capsule machine. And so I'm just going to put some of my vitamin C powder on here. Probably didn't need that much. And then I'm just going to... There we go. I'm just going to spread it out until it starts falling into the capsules. Kind of just go back and forth in a line, right? And then you can push it off to the side. And it comes with... Put too much on there for sure. It comes with a little compressor that's super handy, like this right here lets me put it in there and push down so I have more space in my capsules, right? So I can grab a little bit more of this. Now, I won't say that taking one of these capsules every day would necessarily meet your vitamin C requirements. That's because, you know, every body is different. What you're going through is different than what I'm going through. But I do know that if you incorporate these capsules or this powder or dried orange peels into your diet, that you will be getting more flavonoids, that you will be getting more bioavailable vitamin C than if you were taking a supplement, and that it might be just a good way to um, just kind of increase the amount that you're getting in general to aid in your health. Now, um, one thing that's really interesting, too much on here, is that um, there are these companies that have been making um, orange peel pectin for digestive health, like IBS and stuff, and there's no reason that you really need to do that because the pectin is in these capsules. Like, you can go and you can get this man-made, completely, like, hyper, like, stripped down, you know, they're finding a way to make money off of product waste, which is amazing, but also you could just save your orange peels and do it yourself. And if you really wanted to, you could boil the pectin out of your out of your orange peels. And so now I take the top part. I already put the capsules in this because I didn't want to make everybody watch me put the capsules in there because it would take forever. Um, oh, they always fall out with this one. Now i got to find where they came out of. You came out of right there. And you came out of right there. Okay. Back in they go. And you just push down. There's like a little spring to it, right? I bet not all of them succeeded, but probably most of them did. Some of them did. <laughs> Some of them are stuck. So now I can take this little jar, push out these. Oh, doing it live, people, doing it live. 
But look at that. Right now, I've got vitamin C, flavonoids, copper, all kinds of rich health bringing ingredients from my orange peels that would have got maybe composted or thrown away or given to the chickens and we all know they never really eat them <laughs> right and so isn't that amazing and what's funny is i didn't even end up processing it all look at how much is left in there i could make probably a month's worth if i was taking one or two a day i could probably make a month's worth of capital capsules other words i know just out of a hundred grams of orange peels and I know that in this jar, when I'm done putting it all together, I will have 110 milligrams of vitamin C. Now, when you think about it not being that much, right? Well, how about the fact that when we eat non-bioavailable vitamin C, our body doesn't really utilize it? And there have been studies that show, well, first of all, if you take too much vitamin C, you are going to shit your brains out. <laughs> that just happens. It's a symptom because... Your body can only use so much, and when there's too much, it pushes it all out. Some people find their tolerance dose and back down, or they get accustomed to it. But there's also studies that show when people take really big amounts of vitamin C compared to small daily amounts of vitamin C, you might be taking a whole lot in, but your blood serum levels are actually lower when you're taking big amounts versus higher when you're taking smaller amounts. And I really think that comes down to the fact that when you take a large amount of anything, whether it's a vitamin or an herb or whatever, your body is so pro like focused on processing out the excess that it doesn't get a real chance to utilize what you're actually giving it, right? And so as a person who discovered I had scurvy because I'm cool like a pirate, <laughs> And I was shocked because I eat a lot of vitamin C rich foods. Turns out it was like a genetic thing for me, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, but I was shocked to find that, I, you know, I was feeling better from small amounts of vitamin C than I was from large amounts, right? Um, also, did you know that vitamin C is crucial for uptaking iron? right some people however you might have the celtic gene some people have problem with excess iron now if you have a lot of iron in your body and no matter what you do your iron is high you should get tested for the celtic gene um, just what they call it you know but also because vitamin c is pushing iron into your cells into your into your bloodstream and all that type of stuff if you take a bunch of vitamin C, it'll make your iron situation worse. So that's something to think about, you know, and it's something that I looked into when I discovered I was vitamin C deficiency. I'm like, why isn't my body absorbing this? But I don't think that's the case because my iron levels are okay and it's been a whole thing. But I think that vitamin C is underutilized. I think that you are smart enough to begin utilizing her more. I think you can take some orange peels that you might have laying around anyways if you're eating oranges and you can dry them out to make things like capsules but we can also do things like use this for tea blends you can also put it in your bathtub you can simmer it to make your house smell good you can use these orange peels in so many ways for your home and your health and just to enrich your life and you already spent money on the orange anyways <laughs> you might as well save this big old amount of orange peels and see what you can do with them because I genuinely believe with all of my heart that you are smart enough and capable of doing this so <clears throat> If you like my random videos where I'm showing you how I grind up things and I laugh and I'm just a real human and I mess up words, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notification and also share. Sharing is super important because it helps other people just like you realize that they are smart enough to do this because everybody is. We can take our health back into our hands with one little you know, herbal tip and 
at a time. It's really not that hard to do, and you are definitely smart enough to do this. And if you would like to support my capacity to teach freely, to be a human, to my morning tea times, or anything that you like that I offer, consider becoming a member. It's just a way to throw me a few bucks a month as a way to say thank you. There's nothing hidden behind a paywall. So if you can't afford to, that's okay. Liking, sharing, commenting helps too. Um, but you can also head on over to my apothecary where I make all different types of things synergism capsules, books, tinctures, creams, gels, you name it, I've probably made it. Um, and that really helps me teach, you know, freely. <laughs> Keeps the roof over my head and the orange peels flowing. So thank you so much for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.